Welcome to the Winner's Moment on Breakthrough Time. Hello, my name is Guy Pei. Today I want to talk to you about winning the battle between fear and faith. Fear is a spiritual force. It is the opposite of faith. It's not from God. Fear has the ability to change the complexion of your skin and put a wrinkle on your skin, change the color of your hair, turn it into gray, make your heart beat fast and even stop. Fear can be a deadly force. Faith, on the other hand, is man's ability to trust and believe in the ability of God. Faith is believing when you don't know how, waiting when you don't know when, trusting when you don't know why. These two forces are fighting inside of us. Today I want to look at a story in number 13 to help us extract principles that will help us win this battle. In number 13, Moses sent out 12 spies to the promised land that they were about to possess. When they went into the land, 10 spies came back with a negative report. Only two had a positive report. The 10 spies' behaviors explain and can teach us what it means when we allow fear to control our life. But the two spies' behavior allow us to learn more about what will happen when we allow faith to control our lives. The 10 spies that came back brought a negative report. Number one, they rely on what they saw and not what God said. They said to Moses, the land is full of fruits, just like you said, it's full of abundance, but there are giants in the land. So they rely on what they saw and they forgot what God said. God told them he was going to give them the land. Number two, they exaggerate the problem. So fear, rely on what we see and not what God said, but also fear always exaggerate the problem. They say that the giants in the land were so big, they said we look like grasshopper. In order for this to be true, the average Hebrew was about five foot seven. A grasshopper stands about 1.5 inch tall. If this was true, that means that the giant had to be at least 4,000 feet tall. That means that there was a ratio of 1 to 68. They clearly exaggerated the problem. Number three, the 10 spy became pessimistic about the future and romantic about the past. They discouraged everybody, more than a million people, trying to convince them to go back to Egypt how good it was. And that's what happened when fear comes. We become pessimistic about the future and romantic about the past. Now let's look at the two other spies, Joshua and Caleb. Joshua rely on what God said and not what they saw. And that's what faith does. They saw the giant, but they didn't allow the opposition to dissuade their faith. They believe in what God said and not what they saw. Number two, they, Joshua and Caleb accentuate their faith. They believe that God was able to help them overcome. Faith believes that even in the middle of opposition, that God can help you overcome the obstacle. Number three, Joshua and Caleb were willing to confront the giants. Faith is willing to confront the giants. Listen, folks, you are never going to defeat what you're afraid to confront. You need to identify your fear, confront your fear, and destroy your fear. I'm going to finish with this story. There was a television program called The Fear Factor. Contestant were subjected to the worst fear in the human experience. And during that time, they had to do things like being chased by dogs, laid down, you know, and, and allow snakes and roaches to crawl over them. In one particular episode, there were three finalists. And the last fear stunt that they had to do was to jump from the top of the story building to the other stop of the other building. Out of the three contestants, only one man did it. And at the end, a journalist interviewed and asked him, how did you do it? He said, the truth is, I am afraid of height. That picked the curiosity of the journalist. And the journalist said, you're afraid of height and you did it? How did you do it? He said, I realized that there was a harness that was on me and that there was somebody over me, if I fell down, that was able to connect me and to pick me up. And I'm here to tell you today that no matter what you're afraid of, there's someone over you that is able to pick you up and lift you up and take you to the other side. And that other one on the upstairs is God. Today, 
you realize that you need God in your life. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but love, power, and a sound mind. Today, you can trust in Him. You can ask Him to come into your heart and accept Him as your Lord and Savior. You can win the battle between fear and faith. Identify your fear, confront your fear, and destroy your fear. God bless you.